Hello friends, welcome to another day. Yes, it's so dark in here. It's 1 p.m. and I just got ready. I'm gonna go and run some errands real quick. I thought I'd take you along with me. One of them. Okay, so we are running, I'm running errands right now so that Jason and I don't have to run these later today because later Jason and I are gonna go out on a little date. Nothing fancy. In fact, I don't even think we're going to go at to like any kind of sit down dinner. I might even just go get like takeout and sit in the car and eat somewhere. I don't want to go into businesses and anyway, everything is short staffed. I don't want to deal with it. But he, Jason, needs glasses and he'll talk about it when he gets home tonight from work. He, I've been telling him for the past two years that I think he needs to get at least up close glasses like reading glasses, but he there's such a stigma with reading glasses as old folk glasses. And he just has not even wanted to get it checked out. But he's got a lot of eye strain and headaches that he started to have the past couple months. So he finally went to Costco the other day and got his prescription done. And while he doesn't need a full prescription, they did tell him, yes, you need to wear the reading glasses. When you're reading up close, looking at your phone, looking at a computer screen, you need to put the glasses on. It'll help your eye strain and your headaches. And he's just not happy about it, you guys. He's really not happy about it. But he called me today and he was like, hey, do you wanna go on a little date night tonight? And we'll just go to Target and I'll try on some of those like up close reading glasses. I think he's worried because those ones, like the ones you see at the grocery stores are like really tacky for like someone in his 40s. He's like, I don't wanna like have these little teeny tiny bifocals and put them on and then lower them down to look ahead and he just, anyway, I told him, I said, we can try those. They're like $5, they're not even that much money. Well, then we'll go to Costco and get prescription ones. It's like a 1.0 1 prescription, it's like nothing. But if he wants to like pick out a pair of glasses that look better for him, then, you know, that's worth it because I'd rather have him be okay with wearing them. So, just so you know what the setting is, when he gets home and we go out, a little sensitive about it, I have to kind of tiptoe around it. I'm trying not to make fun of him. I've only made fun of him because he's refused to go and get his eyes checked. I'm not making fun of the fact that he needs to wear glasses, clearly. And I had this conversation with him the other day. I was like, I've been wearing glasses for 30 years. <laughs> so, there's nothing wrong with wearing glasses. And I don't know why you're worried about it. Because if you're worried about it for you, then are you embarrassed that I wear glasses? And he said no. So anyway, we will pick back up when he gets home or if I do anything fun while we're running errands. But I am getting one Christmas present and checking the mail for payment to come in the mail. Okay, came to Costco. Can't show you the main thing I got. I did get this cute little sweater, tunic. I don't know what they call them. I have a Good Vibes shirt in black. I haven't been able to buy Costco sizes in a very long time. I think this is going to fit and it's very nice. It's just long sleeve, has a really good sleeve, but it's not a hot, hot sweatshirt. And the, really the only reason why I even stopped to look is because they were on rebate and they were normally $13. Still a great deal. I probably wouldn't have even looked at it though, but the rebate was for $8.99. So I snagged that for myself. I might play a joke in, on Jason and wrap it up and put it under the tree <laughs> and give it to myself. I might wear it first. And then I might give it to myself. We'll, we'll see. But it's pretty cute. All right, you guys know I don't do like outfit sharing, but look at this cute shirt. Isn't that fun? Also, ignore my dirty mirror. I'm gonna make that Ashley's job when she gets home. I fit a Costco sweater. It's very cute. I love the sleeves and I love this waistband right here because it's stretchy, it's elastic, so it stays right at my waist. A lot of the time I have to kind of get a bit a little bit of a bigger shirt for this area right here. And then it like just hangs and like stretches and make draws more attention to this area. But I like this little stretch, keeps it right here, right in front. I love it. So Chelsea's now home. What? Want to say, oh, want to say hi? Oh, hi. What are you getting into? Do you want me to make that for you? Yeah. This is left over from our church party, our women's church party the other night. I'll leave that there for you to cook. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for leaving that. <laughs> you are such a little twit. No, my nugget. Oh, nugget down. Hurry, 10 yeah. second rule. Hurry. You'll still eat it. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will make her 
the breadsticks and then take this sweater off. It's too warm for me right now. I have been home for a little while. I have a little plan I'm concocting for next month. It takes a lot of prep work to do. So I kind of have to do it a little bit of ahead of time and slowly piece the puzzle together. And then, I'm not telling you. I think I've heard You already, yeah, you already know, but you can't tell them what the secret is. So, well, I don't know fully, but I'm... I know, I'm still working on it. So, you're gonna wanna stay tuned till after Christmas because things might happen next month as well. So, I don't think I'm gonna do much more with you guys this afternoon. I have two hours till Jason's home and then we're gonna go out. Um, so I'm gonna just get some stuff done here at home. She's probably gonna leave here within like minutes. No, no big complaint. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, Friday it's night, it's a bummer. So, we'll be back with you as soon as Jason gets home. I keep saying that and then I keep finding stuff to do with you. We'll see. <laughs> You guys, it is eight o'clock. Oh, quarter to eight. Jason's been home for a little while working out, saw. And I have been working on a video. Hang on, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Okay, I've been working on a video. I don't have one until today's video to edit, and I was trying to like, oh, what else could I do? And I remembered 2021 year in review. So I spent the last like two hours getting footage, and I'm only two minutes into this, and I'm so excited. I'm gonna give you guys, because you guys are fellow watchers, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. I'm gonna give you like, I don't know, 30 seconds? I don't know. Like, here, look, real quick. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I could sit and do I love Hawaii these videos. I love these memories of the kids. Yeah. So that's what I've been doing, and it's fun. Even not just Hawaii. Yes, those are my favorite videos of all time to edit. Yes. But it's super fun to go back about our whole year and remember that, like, it really wasn't as bad as 2020. You know what I mean? It, yes, we still had to quarantine at times. Yes, we still have to wear masks and we got our vaccines and you can hear all the teenagers upstairs. Hey, Kaylee. Yeah. We're going. Hi. Everyone say hi. What? No, I'm just kidding. Who's up there so I know who's here? Me. Just Evelyn and Jacob? Yeah, no. Alexa, pause. Veronica and Miles should be coming soon. Okay. Okay, we are finally going on our little mini date. It's really nothing big. The kids are gonna hang out here. They're good kids, you guys. They're just good kids. They're all laughing and having a good time up there. Mild snafu. Go, you have permission to go. <laughs> As you wish. <laughs> the camera fell, because I wasn't ready to grab it yet. I don't even know what I was gonna say. Oh, Jacob just told us he's taken or asked Kaylee to go on an official date tomorrow night, which is really fun. They basically hung out at our house or his house for the past year and a half. How long have they been dating? Well, all of quarantine, years, like all of, right? of the pandemic, <laughs> basically. I don't even know how they met. No, they met, they started hanging out like a year ago, Christmas. It's when Joseph moved in. Oh yeah. That was like the first that, right? stuff that they like started hanging out. Anyway, he's taking her to a dumpling house, little dozone, and gonna actually take her on a, a real date, which is fun. Super Sorry, cool. it's pretty dark. Super cool. Let's remember to um, but what do you think about your glass glasses I look totally situation? Red because I just worked out. Yeah, it's okay. And uh, you're wearing a red shirt. What do I think about glasses? Yeah, I, needing to wear glasses to like keep my eyes from getting stressed when I read. Correct. There's no mocking about you needing to wear glasses. I think it sucks. Okay. Why? Because it's nice not to need glasses and have stressed out eyes. Yeah, but don't you want your eyes to feel better? I do. I feel like I'm talking to Ashley about her casts. Think of it this way. You're constipated. <laughs> it's nice to get an enema, but no one really <laughs> wants to have to do it. But it's not painful to have glasses. No. I've never had an enema, so I don't know if that's painful either. But <laughs> I'm yeah. just saying, like... It's uncomfortable. It, it, it sucks to feel like you're getting old, is what it mainly is. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry, but it's, I was old then at the age of 13. Actually, the guy said I still have 20-20 vision, but it's like... The, the, he wants to hang on to that. That's yes. the biggest crux. Because he was like, oh, wow, you can read that. All right, okay, but is it better here? I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a little more crisp. 
it's like okay all right what about you anyway so then it's a very mild little prescription thing but yeah it sucks to realize I know you're having a hard time with it I'm sorry you're having a hard time with it I've just worn glasses for so long it doesn't phase me but and there's nothing wrong with glasses. I'm not saying glasses are bad. When I get you your first walker. <laughs> that is nothing compared. You, no, be like... you are such a brat. There's no <laughs> comparison. None. It's just an aid to help you. You are so full of it. Okay, I'm gonna, then I, I, uh, uh, I I'm gonna make fun of him then. Why? This whole night, because there's no comparison to Walker versus glasses. Are you kidding me? I'm just me? saying. It no, it's not. Like you're 40 something, dude. You're not old. I know I'm not, but that's why I do, the little things like this make me feel old, like when I get all tightened up, but I can't stretch as well and crap like that. And I'm like, oh crud, I gotta stretch more. But you're, okay. But needing reading glasses doesn't mean that you're like old. This could have happened 10 years ago. The guy said, he goes, well, Usually, when you get in your early 40s, this starts to happen to most people. But I think because of the way, because the way I've got some far, near thing, whatever. Stigma. I don't know. He's like, they've kind of helped each other. So I don't think you've noticed it. But you have for the past two years, and you refuse to do yeah, anything about it. 2020 was brutal. Yeah, I, I know. Gray hair, acid reflux, <laughs> asthma. Like, yeah, luckily I haven't had asthma for like about a good year. Yeah. It hasn't shown or anything. Okay, we're going to Target. I wanted, That's my health checkup. Yep. Gosh. I wanted to go to another store, but I, it, we're late going out. What store did you want to go to? Bed Bath & Beyond. Because there's a sale. I just It's a Christmas present. But what I didn't want to pay the you? shipping. What am I going to do? I don't know, honey. You should support local and not pay for shipping because chances are you're going to pay the exact same cost and you won't have to pay for shipping. Okay, I'm going to turn him off for you guys and myself. So we did not make it in time, so we'll go over to Target instead. You're just dreading this. I'm not dreading anything. Okay. So he's not really liking this. Well, I, mean, I can stand all the way back here. And, and he's trying to read it. that. It's difficult to read. I mean, like I can read it. <laughs> no, that's way blurry. Everything's blurry now. Like, you're supposed to stand here and then that's hard to read. It's all. What was that, hon? What was that? It's too strong of a thing. But that, did it help? It you don't did. want it. Try them on again. But this is 1.5. I understand. I understand. I mean, I can do that, but it's just, yeah, that makes it a little easier. So is there something on here that you're reading? Yeah, that right there. Okay. It makes it a little better. He just doesn't want to admit. But I want one point. They said all I need is one point, and I'm not going to do 1.2 because I don't want to like weak in the eyes or do. I want to follow the doctor's instruction. <laughs> you don't. But they don't. They don't come to 1.0. Okay, fail. But we are going to go. Okay. We'll go to Fred Meyer and see if they've got like 1.0. Yeah, but I thought you wanted like something fun, like we go get a shake. We're talking or something. about your. Yeah, I do want to go get a shake or something. Okay. Well. well I know, but I also want to get you glasses. You just don't want it. You want to be done with that now. It's fine. We can do it. We can make it happen. All right. We are going to try Fred Meyer and then Walgreens, but it might get to the fact to get an actual prescription at like Costco. Yeah. It's, it's, if yeah. they don't come that low over the counter. Yeah. Because you're not quite perfect. No, just we're pretty close. Damn close. <laughs> just. Uh, you're you're just speechless. I know. Let's go. We found one. A one. A one. There you go. Multifocus. Advanced reading glasses. They're advanced, honey. See? <laughs> okay. Put them on, old man. Put them on. Put them on. Where's my little thing? Reading things, so. So the question is. Does it work? seems I guess it's so mild it's like hard to know I think it'll I think if it takes the strain off the eyes over a period of time correct then I won't have headaches and I okay 
Put them on again. I want to see them. I don't know about those. <laughs> I don't know. They look a little small. You kind of look like that one. Uh, he's like an anchor. Do you know what I'm talking? Or like a newscaster? Or oh shoot, what's his name? I'm thinking of the guy that was on. Uh, he's got teeny round glasses. Uh, We're probably thinking the, the same guy. one. Ooh, you know the reporter in The Greatest Showman? Yes, that's who I'm thinking of. Right, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. I don't know. See, those look more old man. Plus they're like harder, so those are better. Okay, I think this is our last option, correct? I don't know. Well, here, put those ones on. Let me see. I don't know. This is okay. Look, these are like are like you know forty year old Iron Man. This Do is, you know this what is Iron Man is? Yeah, it's like a, a, a marathon. Okay, it's triathlon. But no, you're right. Right. You're so these are like cool. They're not old man. These are really cool, actually. I don't know why I look like an old man. Let me see. No, look at. Right? I don't think this is the right strength. It's a one. Let me look at me. You're looking like a grumpy man. Smile. <laughs> okay, we've come to the actual mirror aisle so he can look in a mirror and see it better. I mean, it's all blurry. Look, it's you're going for the looks. Look. You know, here I look like the bad guy in uh, Chances with Meatballs 2. <laughs> okay, I think the true test of these glasses is his phone. Because that's what he kind of pushes away to try and read. It just I'm not doing the, this. Right, put your glasses just on. Just my eyes out. Okay, put them on, and then see what the news is. Okay, we've sent a request to the two little teenagers at home, and all of their friends to try and get their opinion on which one, this one, or this one. So we'll see what they say. While we wait, we're gonna go get Snickers for my dad. We always give my dad Snickers and new slippers for Christmas. And he already knows they're coming because he gets them every year. I think we've been doing it for like 10 years. So we'll go get that while we wait for the kids to respond to us. All right, the kids got right back to me. Let's see, Abby, number one looks too round. I say the second ones. They kinda make him look like a grandpa though. <laughs> These are teenagers. This one is too round. Yes. And that one I is, that one does not like make you, she hasn't seen the ones that actually make you look like a grandpa. But what did you just say about them? So this little print right there. Teeny tiny, I can't even read that. I can read that like with my own eyes, but it's tough. I like it, you know, I really got to focus okay, and strain. But then when I put this on, I can totally just read it. I think these are it. Yep. All right, fine. Don't be so grumpy, they're cool glasses. It's not about the glasses. It's the concept, I understand. I'll get you a treat. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, mommy! I get a treat. Good job, honey. You did Good it. Job, you did, I did it. it. Okay, Snickers for my dad. And they're two for seven, so we might need to get another one. Yeah, Twix. get a Twix. Yeah. Uh, this is for me, right? Can I have one? You ate the entire bag of s'mores. Every time you eat the entire Wait. bag. Where'd it go? We brought it home the other night. You finished it. That was a week ago, dude. Oh, see, he's already sensitive about it. I don't remember. We didn't eat it, you hit it. Did I bring some home? Yes, we brought some home. And then I ate them? <laughs> yeah, I did. I remember dumping the bag. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. All right, we came to Jack in the Box for the first time. I've never been to a Jack in the Box. We both thought I would try it. I got a Oreo milkshake, just cuz, and some curly fries. We'll try those. Is it good? I don't know, I can't get it to come can't up. Can't get it to come up. It's pretty thick. I mean, so far it tastes good, but. Okay. Okay, we are back at home. You want to see Daddy with his new glasses? No, those are for Grandpa. And those are for Daddy, but he's not having any more tonight because we had milkshakes. Okay, you want to, here, undo these glasses for Daddy. Do you like the look of them? Yeah. They're kind of cool, huh? You have to, okay, pull it out at the top right there. Pull it. 
Okay, go have them try it on. See if you can see if you can read something better. Here, look. Put your glasses on, honey. You're gonna read something. <laughs> read something. <laughs> Thanks, love. You're welcome. You want a chain? I can't. I see like them. Over. You're blurrier. Okay, but you're just use. I like them. Okay, let's go up and ask the teenage. So, I don't know what all this. Five. Okay, this is ridiculous. Point Jason. one is fine. And then I don't know what this means. That's your prescription, dude. I don't know. What does that mean? It's a prescription. That's an actual prescription right there, but you could have gotten the 1.25. You are the worst it's in, it's in at remembering. Episode. He told me one. He goes, you can just do one if you want. Like, it's very mild. Like, you can just do one. But you could have done 1.5 all along. But I did 1.25. One. I did one. Because you don't want to be quite... Okay, let's go show the teenagers. Show I'm not walking around with these. I, put I understand. I, I want them to see it. You guys want to see Daddy's yeah, class? I, I understand. I far away, like, Jason, I just want their reaction to you, yeah, like how you look. Like you're all blurry now. You look like, like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the grandpa from Up. No! Oh! Shade, Abby. That's what I told him. Well, actually, I thought it was the, uh, the bad guy in uh, uh, Rainy with Meatballs uh, Part 2. Oh, oh, <laughs> right with the square little glasses. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought it looked like. Ashley, you want to end our video showing them the snowflakes you made in class? I didn't make those in class, but I made. You made all of these ones. Show them. You put them in rainbow order, yeah. right? Yeah. Look how cute those are. Very that cool, was kiddo. Kind of a face. It does look like a little face. Okay, we are going to end our night. I'm going to go get ready for bed. Jason? You happy with your glasses? Yeah, in fact, you maybe you should give them to me so I can get like a few of them. <laughs> He's like, do I need to like carry these around with me as I go from computer to like phone and bed? And I was like, yeah, you do. If I leave them downstairs, can I ask you to go downstairs and get them for me like your water bottle? Yeah, because that's like a once in a lifetime chance to go and get. I rarely forget my water bottle downstairs. You sure? You ask me every night. <laughs> yeah, I do right? do not ask you yes. every night. No way, I do not ask you every night. Yes, you do. No, I don't. You even text me on my iPad or drop in on the Echo. <laughs> I don't even know the last time I did either one of those things, and I have proof amen, of those. Amen, amen, Abby. Stop. Say good night. Say good night. Put your glasses on one more time. Ashley's telling the truth. I am. Okay, tell me if you like the... You're looking at your screen. What does it doesn't like. Okay, let's see. Watching your show? Are you watching a show? No, I'm doing some stuff here, but I don't know. Does yeah, it help I guess tell? it makes it bigger. Hopefully, my eyes do. All right. Say good night. Night. <laughs>